a basic problem with a globe-spanning capitalist economy is that it's radically disconnected from the Earth. It's turned everything, life forms, energy, planetary forces, into commodities to be fed into the market machine. Everything's forced to generate returns on capital investment, tracts of land, water, forests, food crops, animals, even genes, bacteria, colors, and smells. They've all been converted into bundles of private property so they can be monetized. As the entire planet has been turned into a single global grid for selling and consuming, diverse life forms, landscapes, and cultures have been flattened and homogenized. Everything that can't be monetized is dismissed as having little value, like the atmosphere, which is treated as a free waste dump, or thousands of plant and animal species, which are being driven to extinction. This is what happens when the economy, as we call it, is treated as something separate from the Earth. Ecologists call this phenomena the metabolic rift. Civilization is not seen as connected, its metabolism is not seen as connected to the living ecological realities of the planet. Bioregionalism aims to reverse that. A bioregion is a geographic space defined by the boundaries of natural forces, watersheds, soil, climate, biodiversity, geology. Every bioregion has its own distinctive landscape, weather, flora and fauna, and agriculture. The problem is that contemporary economies usually ignore bioregional realities, which is why we need to cultivate bioregional thinking. We have to align markets, governance, and culture with ecological realities. That's the goal of bioregionalism, to respect the aliveness and limits of ecosystems while meeting our own needs. The goal is to support the dense web of life and its life-creating interdependencies. We have to abandon utopian dreams of total control and learn how to coexist as active stewards of non-human life. This is a challenge we can't ignore. It's the only way we can restore the health of our planet, including the atmosphere and climate. So in this session, we'll focus on how we can make bioregions the framework for life. We'll learn how to integrate the economy into ecosystems through relocalization. We'll learn how to expand non-market systems of provisioning, such as commons. We need to learn how to decommodify land from speculative markets and take care of it in more responsible ways. All this is, is essential for getting off the treadmill of constant growth, consumerism, and extractive economics.